in case I fall off my chair And I'm wondering how I'll get down the stairs Anyway, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to dye my hair We're kind of going on this adventure together because I've never dyed my hair like this I tried Kool-Aid and Kool-Aid has never worked so instead I'm going to try food dye So you're coming along to watch me dye my hair and you're learning like a little how to dye your hair with Kool-Aid kind of video I'm not dyeing my entire head because I don't think I would be able to do it very well. I decided to go with this option because I used to have a blue streak and it stayed in too long. It was really expensive. One wash a week or six weeks and then somebody said a year. I don't know. You guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've heard people mix your food dye with vinegar, mix your food dye with water. Just use your food dye and mix it with shampoo. Don't mix it with shampoo. Shampoo takes things out of your hair. Mix things with conditioner. Heat it up. Don't heat it up. Oh my gosh. Why can't there just be one way? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of everything because <laughs> indecisive. So I don't have like dark hair. I mean, I'm obviously a ginger. Um, yeah, I don't think I, I don't have dark hair, but I'm also not blonde and I feel like if you're blonde, it's going to work a lot better. So I think I'm going to end up doing like two coats kind of, um, and one way is going to be vinegar mixed with food dye because I heard that vinegar works better for darker hair. And then I'm going to do another one with my conditioner. <sighs> so I'm just wearing like a really baggy shirt. Okay, first thing you have to do is gather shit. So so I've got a little mixing, something to mix it in. Don't use a um, like white ramekin or something because food dye can dye things. So yeah, I'm just using this. Something to stir it and apply it with. You can use your hands. I'm going to use like a mixture of both, I think. Um, I just have like a brush. You can use an actual hair dye brush, which comes in some hair dye kits or you can get at Sally's. I'm just using a paintbrush. I've used this for all my hair experiments, none of which has worked, so we'll see. You're obviously going to need your food dye. Um, I think I'm going to attempt to make purple, but I don't know. Like, there's a little chart on the back. This is from the brand Spice Supreme. I heard that getting gels is, like, easier than getting, like, the liquids. But... I don't know. You're going to need some gloves because this can stain things. I've also read things online of how to get it off if it's on your forehead. So it's like my scariest thing. It's going to like drip on my neck. I'm going to have a hickey or it's going to be on my forehead. So that. Clips. I've got some like old kind of shitty clips. I mean they're not shitty. They're cute. They're like rainbow sparkles. Anyways. So clips. I've got an array of headbands. A comb. Um, a clean surface not available, a shitty shirt, you're going to need a blow dryer, and then a straightener or a curler after you blow dry. I have a straightener. Oh, and distilled vinegar, if you're going to use the vinegar method. There are so many different methods, and like, I don't even know. So, the so I'm going to pour the distilled vinegar into the little cup. I have no idea how much I'm supposed to use. Used about that much. You can't see it. I used about that much. I have no idea. No idea what I'm doing. And then for my food colors, I think I'm going to try to make purple. They have a little instruction thing on the back, so I guess I'll follow it. Aztec blue. Lime green. I had a blue sheet glass in. That's why I don't want it. Ooh, and you need red. Obviously. Oh, and you don't need green. Why did I grab green? What does green and blue make? Is that, is that just completely stupid? Okay, so five drops of red. One, two, three, four, five-ish, maybe? It's either like six or ten. And then one drop, this is green. One drop of blue, I think I'm going to add two. One or ten, that's fine. Mix it. Is this purple or is this like shit? It looks black. You guys, this looks black. I don't want to dye my hair black. Ew, this is like shit color. This is a shit color. I don't want a shit color. 
Gonna mix that. It still looks like a shit color. Okay. Take two. Fail number one. Take two. Hobbs has joined us. Starting over again. So I'm gonna add distilled vinegar. Still don't know how much to add. I think that's about the same amount. I'm just gonna end up going with green because mixing the colors, I'm too worried. So I'm just gonna take a green. Like this is shit. That's not purple, that is shit. I feel like it's not gonna be a pretty green. Okay, so this might be another fail, but I'm gonna add like a drop of yellow to make it a lighter. One, two. Two drops of yellow. Maybe it'll make it like a lighter color or maybe it'll make it more shit. I don't really wanna know what my cat's doing. I think I'm just going to put it in the microwave for like 35 seconds. Okay, so while that's heating up, I'm going to begin to section off my hair. So I'm looking in a mirror. That's why I'm looking over there. So I was inspired by Joanna from the second Hunger Games. She like me. I love her. And I'm just going to... I just want to do like the front sections to more of like frame my face. If you've ever done this before and you want to give me tips... I mean, they can't really help me now because it's been done, but if I'd really like it, I may do it in the future. Help those who have no idea what the hell they're doing. No, this is really cute. Def gonna wear this to school. First day school hairstyles, I mean, right? I said I'm gonna try and kind of like every method. In another jar, I'm gonna mix some conditioner. I'm using the sub professionals moroccan infusion with moroccan argan oil so i'm just going to use a little bit because i'm not really dying that much choose about that much and then i'm going to do five drops of green and two drops of yellow because that's what i did last time these little things are kind of hard to squeeze like they're harder than expected i'm gonna stir in some more conditioner professionals apparently go like this okay Here goes absolutely nothing. Ah, I feel like this is going to take a very long time. Under a pale blue skies, you never felt so cold. Another sleepless night How could you ever let go? Okay, so it worked! Um, um, I'm going to get some towels to cover my lap because that's really what got everything. And then also more gloves because the vinegar it on my glove it started to run on my glove and then it dripped down onto my leg. So I'm going to get more gloves. I'm going to get like four pairs of gloves. And then I'm going to restock everything and clean up to do this little section here. How do you recognize the dirty face of gold on a crooked line when you never knew you dry it and straighten it and come back so I just blow dried my hair it's not completely dry but I don't have patience so now I'm just going to go in and straighten it heat will lock in the colors that's why you have to straighten it if you get hair dye on your Straightener or curling iron, like straightening a napkin. Find it works. 
So this is the final product guys. I really love it. I might go back and do like a third coat here, maybe a second one here, but I guess I'll do that tomorrow too. If you guys have any questions, um, then make sure you guys comment down below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Let's see how long I can stay alive. I don't have a bra on, so just please, please, please. To the left of me, jokers to the right, here I am.